I'm gonna show you how to make YouTube thumbnails using the CapCut app, and you know I hate long intros, so let's just jump into this video. Now, I'll be doing this from my iPad, but it'll be the exact same experience if you're using an iPhone or an Android device. But to get started, I'm just gonna click New Project, and I'm actually gonna open up an album that I have called Thumbnail, where I have all my thumbnail photos ready and set. For this purple background image, I actually just went through the free app called Canva, and then for this CapCut logo, I actually just went to Google Images and found one with the background removed already. So I'm gonna first start by adding my background in, and we'll start adding the layers for our thumbnail. So we'll click Add, and we'll get started doing this. So first we'll start with adding me in. So I'm gonna go to overlay and then I'm gonna go to add overlay, add myself in and click add. And probably what we'll wanna do here is remove the background from my photo. So to do this, I'm just gonna go to the cutout button, click remove background, and it did a pretty good job. It looks like there is still some black uh, from the background there. So what we'll actually do is we'll click the check mark and then we're gonna click customize cutout and we're gonna click wipe and then I'm just gonna zoom in and not make that mistake. We'll hit the back button there. We're gonna zoom in and scroll down to this area. And we're just gonna wipe that all out like so. Awesome, click the check mark and now that little area has disappeared. So we can grab ourselves, just pinch them with our fingers to increase the size in order to get ourselves in that thumbnail section. There we go, that's looking pretty good for now. We're just gonna click the back button. And what I can do is I'll actually go over to the adjustment tab here. And in here, I can do things like click the HSL levels and go to blue and turn up the saturation a bit just to make the shirt a little more colorful. This will only affect that blue color. So there we go, check mark, liking that. Let's go ahead and add our next element in by clicking add overlay. I'm gonna click on the app icon and then click add. Using my fingers, just gonna resize this and put it somewhere right here for right now. And now let's add some text. For this, just gonna click the text icon, click add text, and we'll do one as thumbnail. Gonna go to font, and with thumbnails, you want it to be bold text, and you want it to be easy to read. So I'm probably gonna go for something just like a classic two, because this is usually a pretty easy font to read. And I'm also gonna go to style, and choose the pre-designed black background with the white text. And then I'm gonna also go over to canvas, and I'm gonna increase the size of it. I like the height to be a little bit bigger. I like there to be a little bit of space for this text to exist and not be so cramped. So I think that is pretty good for the height. Uh, and then we can move this, increase the size here like so. Awesome, click the check mark. Then I'm gonna add another text element and we'll make this one say tutorial. And for this, I'm gonna make the text black and the canvas in the background white. And we'll place that down below like so. Click the check mark, looking good. I'm gonna click the back button and go back to the overlay section with the CapCut logo and make sure that is centered properly. And what I actually might do is do a little bit more customization here. So I'm gonna click on the purple background. I'm gonna to go to the adjustment tab and I'm gonna kind of mess around in here. Uh, something I was playing with before we got on camera here is I actually clicked on the purple in HSL and I'm gonna move the hue over to blue. And I actually like how this looks. I'm also gonna increase the the luminance a bit, affect the saturation a bit here. Um, and then I'm also gonna go over to brightness and increase that a bit. So it's a very bright thumbnail. There we go. And then I'm also gonna go over to my other layer. I'm gonna go to overlay, click on my photo. I'm gonna go to the adjustment tab for that one. And inside of HSL, I'm gonna mess with the blue color a bit as well. I think I'm gonna give it a lighter kind of green in there so it stands out a bit. Might brighten this up as well. And there we go, we have a pretty nice thumbnail here. Now to get this into YouTube, the first thing I'm gonna do is click the take up full screen button. So that is what that looks like. If you're on a phone, it'll probably be closer to the preview screen, but we'll do that. I'm gonna get my mouse out of the way and then I'm just gonna take a screenshot with my phone. So we're just gonna click the power button and volume up, which will take the screenshot 
And then what I can do is head over to YouTube Studio, which is this app icon down here. So if I open that up, I'm in YouTube Studio, and then I'm able to go to my video, whichever one, I can click the pencil icon, then click the change photo button, click change, and then here I'm able to select my thumbnail. And I can actually rearrange it here so I can make it line up perfectly, just like that, and then click select, and I have my thumbnail set and ready to go for YouTube. Now you're not done yet. You need to learn the fundamentals of what makes a good thumbnail. I actually put together a video on 10 mistakes beginners make when designing thumbnails. Be sure to check out this video so you make the right moves and make good thumbnails people wanna actually click on. Uh, and also consider checking out our YouTube training that we have as well. So hope to see you at one of those.